Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about Splatoon because I am so excited for Splatoon 3, just in general. So first off, we have this bow. Look how cool that is. It looks... Oh, I'm just so excited for that. I feel like it's going to be maybe sort of like, I don't know, a, a sniper maybe? Just, just sort of um, because you have to... I don't know, I just feel like similar mechanics. I really like the cape, makes me think of Agent 3. And the shoes, the whole outfit I think looks really cool. I love, like, what they're wearing. So, let's see. And I love the braid. I'm just super excited for the braid and everything. And it seems we're gonna have like, a little Salmon Run character. So, I really want to know why. And that's what I'm also excited for, to see more videos coming out, like, Hopefully giving us some more details and explaining what this is and I mean I know what it is from Salmon Run, but why? And another great thing is there's no gender which makes me think of Animal Crossing where it's a style You know which yeah, this is a style, but you know, I like that things aren't Directed just for a gender like hey, do you want short hair? Well, guess what you have to be a male and It's just like what and it you know kind of sucks but it's cool that we have this now. I didn't actually notice. I thought it was just guy and girl when I first saw the trailer. But nope, we have Octoling, which I think the hair looks super, super cool for all of them. Again, I really like this, like, braid, and I just, oh, I'm just so excited. And we have, you know, of course, our skin tones. And then we have our eye colors. As you can tell, we can, I think these are, like, different... You know, it's like half and half sort of thing. You can change it. Let's see those eyes. Um, so a different array of colors, as you can see here. And this one looks like the bi flag. Everyone keeps saying, which I love. Um, and then we can choose like our hair and everything, which again, that's so cool. I think my favorite hair would have to be this one, or you know, the one with the braid. Then we have our pants. Like the leg wear, which I wish they would add it as, you know, a gear, but it seems they're not doing it this time, which it's fine. More pants. I think these are like these few are from the, like these three, I think maybe from the newer one now. We can design him now, which I think is really cool. This hair is a little funky, but I think they're all really cute. I'll probably choose this one or that one. Make him look kind of punk. Because I feel like the vibe of Chaos is more punk. And it makes me think, how would the game look like if it if Order won? Because this seems like they're playing off the Splatfest of Chaos. Because I will show you some stuff from Twitter, but they mention it. So here it is. It's no secret that Inklings and Octolings can arrange their head tentacles in various hairstyles. However, it seems these wonderful creatures are capable of more intricate designs than previously known. Just look at this inkling. It has a braid. What a day for science, which I love the braid so much. I like to draw myself with braids because I put my hair in braids sometimes. But this is super cute. Very excited. There's the trailer. Um, so here we see Splatsville. The newly discovered city of chaos so that this is how you know it's chaos but again if i think if it's order it would obviously wouldn't look like this it probably look more like i guess like the octa expansion in a sense maybe um not really underground i don't think but you know it has a dated feel yet seems densely populated research feels Research indicates that Splatville's development has accelerated rapidly since the final Splatfest a year and a half ago, even though it's located far from Inkopolis. So, since it's been a year and a half now, and I think the Inklings, Octolings are around 16, so they're like 17 and a half now. Not, I don't think our character will be that age, I just think the ones from before will be. And so here's that. Looks super cool, I think. I just really am excited. I really hope we can get apartments for the game. I mentioned that on my Tumblr. I'm like, I really hope we can get some type of apartment. And it might be. Who knows? I just really hope that's the case. And we can tell that our shirt has a hole in it. I think that's kind of funny. Maybe that's the new style. Um, you can't tell in this picture, but there was like a picture of like hairstyles that were from the you know game before and you can see the new ones and then there's like an older one which i really really like man i'm just so excited to walk around this place 
So here's the full picture. And then there's this. Looks super, super good. I'm just so excited. And then we learn that Splatville is located in a broader region called the Swatlands, which I think is really cool. It seems the intense sun and harsh environment have a profound effect on its inhabitants. In recent years, trend-setting inklings have been drawn to this culture like moths to a Bunsen burner. And then here, the hairstyles, again, look super, super good. I like this one. It's really funky. That one looks cute, too. And here's a normal hair. This one looks so good. I just love that. Look at that. And this one's probably my favorite. I just love it. I love the short bangs. We can think of Pearl. And then just like this cute little sort of, I guess you can say wavy hair, maybe. Like it feels like it has some waves, you know, and this little thing, little tentacle sticking out. Super, super cute. And then again, this hairstyle, which I absolutely love. And then the Alpha Tower looks like it's upside down. I saw many memes talking about it. France is done for. Even in the Splatlands, Inkling seemed to seem developed to the population. The man, I cannot speak to the popular pastime of turf war. The basic rules appeared unchanged, which is good, I think. Two teams of four com compete to ink the most grounds. However, the denizens of Splatville appear to have taken battles into the surrounding wilds of nature. That seems really cool. And I'm super excited to see what that means, like what everything's going to entail. This looks like a really cool shot. It makes me think of Splatoon 1 a little bit with this sort of high ground, I guess. And again, it looks like we have the Ink Zuka back, which I didn't play Splatoon 1, by the way. I've only played the second game. And the Swatlands Inklings seem to favor entering the battlefield by launching themselves out of some sort of mid-air spawner drum, which is cool. Um, so it's going to be different. I assume this is what multiplayer is going to look like, so it's going to be different than, you know, just spawning in. So hopefully no spawn killing will be a thing. Um, I don't know how it's work. I feel like it's going to have, like, pros and cons. Like, they'll know exactly where you're spawning. I don't know. But I assume you can still, like, squid jump to someone when you died maybe because typically when you are you got splatted you can squid jump to them so i don't know it appears they can even choose a landing spot before flying into action again you have the really cool bow then you have these which you know i think this one looks a little different i'm actually not too sure I love the desert theme. It's like they're in like mid transformation, you can tell. This looks super cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. We've identified two new ways that inklings can move. A squid roll allows them to leap and twirl out of their ink and a squid surge allows them to quickly swim up in covered walls and jump out at the top just think how these abilities could be used in the heat of battle again super super cool we've also discovered a new weapon with a shape like bow it looks a bit primitive at first glance but on a closer inspection, it's packed technology, including a mechanism capable of launching three strings of ink simultaneously. Three strings? Get a closer look. Here's the bow. Looks super cool. Oh yeah, three. That's really cool. I, I think everyone, or a lot of people, will probably be using this weapon when going into the game. In the, new, in the video transmission, we also spotted some special weapons, in addition to a brand new one. Some seem like reconfigured versions of special weapons and found in Inkopolis. How perfectly fitting for the City of Chaos. This weapon looks super cool. Kind of looks like a stingray. I guess all four of the- no. There's more. Hmm. It looks like a stingray though, look at that little thing. <laughs> look how detailed. 
Really cool. And then I like this crab. Look at that. And they have like the chaos helmet. I wonder if you can have that. Like, will you be able to have that? I hope so. Have the chaos stuff from the spot fest. Classic main weapons appeared visible in the Splatlands. Although their appearance seemed evolved in suit to suit this unique culture, the 96 um, gal and range blaster looked markedly different than we're used to, which will s seemingly make them stand out more than the other weapons of the same type. Wow, look at that. The detail. Look at that. Looks like a little pouch for like your snack. Super cool. Not a fan of these guns, but still. Wow, look at that. Amazing. So here's my Tumblr. And this is just my side blog, but here are some things that I talked about that I'd like to see in Splatoon 3. I posted this like, I think two months ago, something like that. And so, of course, I want to see apartments and room designs. You know, I want to be able to see what Splatfest I played slash, like, won and lost. Cute collectibles from the single player that you have in your room. Just a place to chill with friends, like the plaza or in your room to show it off. When you buy clothes, it tells you if you have it on or not. If you have it or not. I want to own all the clothes, but sometimes I'm not sure if I own it or not. Which is true, because I do that all the time, and I'm like, wait, I already bought this. Better single player, you know, like, don't get me wrong, I like the single player, but the levels is like rinse and repeat, <laughs> repeat, annoying and boring. I want it to be more open world um, and not so puzzle-like, which I feel like it will be. I don't care if we have so many puzzles, that's fine, but I just don't like that it's just the same thing. So hopefully it looks more open world, but again, we won't know until 2022, which I'm thinking it'll come out in the summer of 2022, because that's when the other games came out. Sort of like the Octa Expansion, but again, not rinse and repeat. Which the Octa Expansion wasn't all rinse and repeat. Like, just the main ones you don't have to. But if you want to complete it and, you know, defeat the secret boss, you'll have to do that. Uh, side quests for cool items. Or just side quests in general. I just think it'd be really cool to have, like, a side thing to do. You know? Which, technically, sometimes you did. Um, maybe more info on the sanitized Octolings. Which I don't think that'll happen looking at it now. I just... Sadly, and no more hair, uh, whether it's inkling or octoling, obviously more octoling, which, yes, we got more hair. A non-binary option, too, please. And it seems, and well, it looks like there is no gender, so I think technically that's a win. <laughs> uh, well, it is a win. Change hair color easier for post, which, again, we didn't get a good look at it. I hope it will be just as easy. Um, you never know. Um, no exclusive gear. I want gear for Japan. It's just not fair, which is true, because... I read a little bit of the manga, and there's a few characters that they, you know, it's exclusive, exclusive gear, and it's really kind of irritating. So, you know, if you're going to give them exclusive gear, get, like, other people exclusive, exclusive gear, too. Um, have pants be a part of the gear, and sadly, that's not a thing. Male idols. I just want one, please. Um, again, we don't even know if we'll have idols. I know we won't have the same ones. We, don't, we won't have the Squid Sisters again. Definitely not. Who knows who who knows even what they're doing, you know? Um, Pearl and Marina, I hope they're still gonna be a thing. Cause I know they said after this whole thing ends, they're gonna be done doing news. They wanna do other things. But if they'll be friends, who knows? And to add on to this, some other things that I really would like to see would be just um I do want different idols, I guess. And of course I want a male idol. And I would also like to see Pearl and Marina again. That'd be really cool if we saw, like, Agent A or Agent 2 or, no, I mean, sorry, Agent 3 or 4 again. Just, like, any of the ones that we played at, as in the past game. Of course, I would love to see the Squid Sisters and Pearl and Marina. You know, just everyone like that. And I'm curious if we still have Salmon Run since, you know, and if they do, can they make it all day instead of having it end randomly? Um, I don't think we'll have Salmon Run again, though, just thinking about it right now. Okay, so, let's see how it looks like more open world. You've got to walk around. So, I'm really excited for that. And then again, the Apple Tower. I really like this train. It just makes me think back on the Octa Expansion. And then, of course, we have this.
and you, you can see right there, um, it's the other hair. I just really love this. Look at that. Really cool. Oh, there's a little glimpse of this. Oh, look, you get these guys, because you, you only saw those in the Octic expansion. So it looks pretty nice. Looks really big. It makes me think of Splatoon 1, but, like, not super open, because... Hold on. So in the Splatoon 1 Plaza, it's just really open, and it just feels like... I do like it, of course. I like, I like this. But I really like this, because we don't get a good shot, but it seems more, like, crowded, but not super crowded. It's like a mixture of Splatoon 1 and 2. You have, like, this openness, but then some things are kind of scooted in together. I really like that. It looks really cool. It doesn't seem like we have, like, a little monitor giving us news. Of course, I assume we'll get news, because everything seems chaotic, so why wouldn't they give us some type of news of the sort, so... I'm just trying to get a nice little look of everything. You have the stairs that looks like this looks like you're going into multiplayer right here. I'm really happy that this is on the Switch. I'm like, I don't want to buy a brand new console, but I'm saying that, but I'm going to buy a new console. Oh, I'm trying to at least. I'm trying to like save up right now for uh, for a Nintendo Switch where, because I have a light, by the way, I have the light. I want one that you can take the Joy-Cons off because I want to be able to record stuff. Like, I'm going to get a, what is it called? I'm going to get a capture card so I can film for my YouTube, you know, channel. And that's why I want that. But I already bought myself an iPad, so I have to wait a little bit, which is fine. Um, and you can tell, look at that crown. Hmm. Who will be the villain of this game? I just hope it's not DJ Octavio. I'll be honest with you. I do like the Outer Expansion. It wasn't him. It was another guy. Like that phone. But I just really, really hope it's a different, you know, character. And then you get a more look around for this. Look at them chilling up there. I just really hope we can go inside of here. Hopefully we get some out balance stuff. And then, yeah. Here's the logo, Splatoon 3. Again, people are saying it looks like the non-binary flag, which I love. Um, you know, we support everyone. And I, myself, am non-binary. And then it cuts to talking about, like, multiplayer stuff, which I didn't really know if it was or not. I had a feeling it was. Get all this stuff again. Oh. You get them. Looks super cool. And then, this is the map, you can, like, choose where you drop in at. This looks like this would, would be where the original landing pad was, so you know, oh, this is where my team's at. And then the bow just looks so cool. A little bit more of the map looks super sick. Very excited. The little crab dude. And it looks like the ink zooka. And then back to the ink. 2022. So guys, how do you feel about this? Are you guys excited? Because, of course I am. I literally was listening to music. And I wasn't watching the direct because I didn't honestly think anything Splatoon is going to happen. I'm not a huge fan of, like, Smash or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, that's not really my thing. I'm not a fan of it. I don't really care. So that's why I didn't watch it because I'm like, eh, nothing Splatoon's going to come out. Because they said 2021 games. But this is 2022. So, you know, I'm really excited, of course. I'm glad because... I feel like a lot of people are, okay, of course you're allowed to have your opinion, but I just feel like people are over-exaggerating a little bit, because I don't care that it's not coming out till 2022, that's just a year away. It could be coming out sooner, yes, but it could have never even mentioned it until next year anyways, like, oh, 2023, you know, so I'm kind of looking at it, at least it's not longer, you know, and 
that also gives me time and maybe other people time if they don't have a switch they can like save up like you know for me i want a just the the first switch so i can capture it you know a capture card because you cannot put a capture card on your switch light which i think is really dumb but whatever i'm really excited for that so tell me how you feel in the comments down below if you of course like splatoon if you you know i just so excited i really hope we get some really really good single player because i know splatoon is mostly known for their multiplayer but i really really want some single player too that's all i want i played the single player all the way through for splatoon 2 of course i didn't play the first game i completed it all just so i can get the hero weapons and i got the hero shop replica and I got everything, all the sunken scrolls and everything like that, you know, for the first game. So I got all that stuff. I mean, sorry, the second game. And and then the Oct Expansion, I don't have every weapon done, but I did beat it fully without, you know, like, trying to get out of it. Which I did the first time so I can beat it, because I it was like 2 in the morning and I wanted to beat it. And then I went back so I can get the secret boss, you know, Agent 3, so I can beat her and that took forever i have a lot of hours on my switch for splatoon like 600 hours which isn't too many but you know for me it's a lot because i didn't get my switch until um 2020 so that was really cool um i just have a lot of hope for this game seems really really cool definitely not what I was expecting, because I was looking at the fan-made Splatoon 3 stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is what it's going to be, but nope, they took a very different direction, which of course I really like. It's not sci-fi or anything. I feel like it could have gone more of that direction, more of like sci-fi-esque, if Order won, but even then, I don't think it would have looked like that. Who knows? We'll never know how the outcome is, unless in the Splatoon 3 art book, whenever that comes out, they might release stuff if they had ideas for order if they won that'd be really cool i would like to buy the other games other books too like the art books for the other games the first and second but yeah are you guys excited do you think that it should come out do you think it's a good time for it to come out in 2022 are you glad it's not on a new system so you don't have to buy it because i know they said they're going to be using the switch for seven to ten years and that was like two years ago i think so we got a lot of time to play in the switch because um, people seem to love it, so I think they're just going to advance it a little more and make it, like, a little bit better throughout the years instead of making a new console. What are some things you hope to have in this game, you know? Or some things that, what are your favorite things that you saw, some things that you hope for? You know, my favorite thing would have to be the bow and the new hairstyles. I like that, you know, there's not a gender. I think that's really cool because, again, they limit things being, like, Here's something for the male. No, I want to have that thing too. Um, and vice versa. I do like they brought back some stuff from Splatoon 1. I'm just super excited to see what comes and how the storyline will go for this new game. I mostly just want to know about the single player. Of course, I'll play multiplayer a lot, but the single player is something that I really, really hope for since the other games seem to have bored me a little bit besides the Octa expansion. Because since that came out, we know they have, they can do really, really good stuff. So, thank you all for watching. And, of course, leave how you feel down in the comments down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.